Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this unboxing video on a Monday, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. So, this is a full on guessing game this time because I know exactly what it is and there's a big silly grin on my face already. Um, this, oh, there's so many clues I can give with regards to this particular figure. Um, it's a G1. It's a Japanese version of a G1, so that means it's obviously one that I've not got. Uh, the figure itself, the normal figure, the normal character, I've got quite a few versions of, to be honest. But as I say, this is the Japanese version, which I just do not have yet. Um, and um, it was one of the first figures, one of the very, very first figures released. And funnily enough, yes, the Japanese version is different to the Hasbro. Uh, because of the colour scheme so it's not something like um, you know, it hasn't got the same hasn't got a different name either so what I mean by that is it's not something like Joyride um, who of course they redecoed and they changed his name to Ranger um, it's 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 a different deco of a figure but it's kept the complete same name so um, I wonder if that'll help out or not I'm not too sure um, it's not boxed obviously it's it's not complete however here's another huge clue Ooh, it's in there it's in there um the other huge clue is that i said it's not complete didn't i okay yeah so that's what i meant so the japanese version of this figure came with far less accessories this is a big clue for you guys if you know your japanese things far less accessories compared to the hasbro version um and in some ways it made it a bit strange because one of the main accessories for this particular figure um in the cartoon in the comic which he used all the time um this japanese version didn't actually have it didn't come with it um I'm trying to think of as many other clues as i can give you before just opening it straight away there's a really obvious clue i'm going to give in a second um and funny enough it's to do with this here that i'm unwrapping with right now um what else can we say so yeah, so it, that means it isn't one of, it isn't definitely one of the ranges of the Power Masters, anything like that. It's one of the very, very first figures, very, very first figures. So it's nowhere near. So in fact, it's a 1984 figure. There you go. I've got to say it's one of the very first, one of the most infamous, popular characters. I love this guy. He's such a good figure. Um, he's a Decepticon. Here's a big, big clue. Uh, if you are buying or purchasing one of these or even indeed selling one then they must ship this to you not in the alternate mode they must ship this to you in the robot mode because there's a high possibility that it will be taken by customs and you will never see it again and I can see it now in my hands um, and somebody commented on a video the other day of the Jap yeah that's it the Japanese commercial that I put up and it had this guy on it and somebody said oh there's there's the color thing wrong with it and i'm like i think the inner right i'm giving too much away here so i think the original color scheme that this guy's got is the old micro man micro change color but this is definitely the transformers release of him um he's in my hands right now so he's got two very distinctly different things compared to the takara version and the hasbro and I'm just going to, you, you've got to have guessed who it is, but I know we've been going on for ages. It's it's Takara Megatron. So the two big differences are the blue inner legs and the inner arms. Um, and the other is, I'm sure you can make it out, that he's a gun metal grey. He's not chrome, he's not shiny, he's not at all. He's he's like the Goodbye Megatron set, but he's got the original blue in inner legs. And this guy only came with the sword. So he didn't come with his scope, which again is ridiculous for a Megatron not to have a scope. Never mind the whole scope that you could build up, but he didn't even come with an attachment. So you can't attach an arm scope to him at all. So he came with the sword and the standard weapon, that, the, the silver one that came with the Hasbro and Sage versions of Megatron that we just never used. But yeah, there you go. This is the original Takara. And he's not broke to so above a transforming him. Not for this video anyway. Um, yeah, this is Takara G1 Megatron. Did you get it? You must have got that one. It was a quite an easy one, wasn't it? Anyway, guys, let me know. Take care. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.